lights went out six months ago. Government's gone. Your neighbor Bob? He's fertilizer now, probably feeding some mutant tomatoes. And that survival blog you bookmarked between cat videos? Complete garbage. Every romantic bushcraft fantasy you've seen on TV will get you dead faster than a walker bite to the jugular. Welcome to reality, Survivor, where Bear Grylls was a lying showman, Hollywood was criminally wrong, and your Pinterest survival board makes better kindling than guidance. This isn't Survivor. There's no million dollar prize. Just you, the wasteland, and natural selection having a field day. The Golden Rule Myth kills faster than radiation poisoning. Science keeps you breathing another day. Myth number one. Drinking your own piss will save you. Oh, you watched that Discovery Channel special. How adorable. You probably think Les Stroud was documentary filmmaking, too. Here's the brutal science genius. Your kidneys are biological waste processing plants. They filter toxins, excess salts, urea, and metabolic garbage into urine. When you second time, your kidneys start screaming biochemical profanity. Third time, kidney failure, seizures, death. Congratulations, you just bear grills yourself straight into the afterlife. Even Kevin Costner in Waterworld had better hydration strategies. The fix? Find any other water source first. Puddles, tree sap, morning dew squeezed from fabric, radiator water from abandoned cars. Even muddy ditch water filtered through cloth beats drinking liquid death. Steam distillation works if you've got fire and metal containers. Steam doesn't carry radiation particles, just pure H2O. Simple physics saves lives, while urine recycling makes corpses. Myth number two, moss grows on the north side of trees. Whoever spread this botanical fairy tale never stepped outside their suburban bubble. Moss grows wherever it's damp and shaded, north, south, east, west, upside down if gravity cooperates. Moss doesn't own a compass, subscribe to GPS services, or care about your directional needs. You follow moss directions in the wasteland? You'll walk in circles until you collapse like a lost character without the mystical island magic. Ask the Donner Party how botanical navigation worked out. Spoiler alert, it ended in cannibalism. The fix? Use the sun, Einstein. It rises east, sets west, hangs south at midday in the northern hemisphere. Basic astronomy that would make Neil deGrasse Tyson proud. At night, find Polaris, the North Star. Not the strip club, the actual celestial body. Draw a line from the Big Dipper's cup edge through the handle stars. No stars? Cloud cover got you down? Stick method time. Plant a straight stick in open ground. Mark the shadow tip. Wait 15 minutes while contemplating your life choices. Mark again. Draw a line between points. That's your east-west line. Physics doesn't lie, unlike your ex. Myth number four. Follow animals to water. Wrong, dead wrong, Zarmi apocalypse level wrong. Animals know where they drink. They don't know where you should drink. That watering hole might be contaminated with Giardia, E. coli, radioactive runoff, or worse. Animals have different immune systems, different tolerances, different life expectancy goals. What keeps Bambi alive will turn your intestines into a biological WMD. Plus, predators hunt near water sources like camping outside of McDonald's. Follow a deer trail, meet a hungry bear. Follow a rabbit path, find a wolf pack having dinner discussions. Nature isn't your Disney-loving friend, it's actively trying to kill you with prejudice. The fix? Look for flowing water, not stagnant death pools. Moving water means less bacterial buildup and fewer microscopic party crashers. Boil everything for at least three minutes. Rolling boil, not gentle bubbles like you're making tea for the queen. No pot? Heat rocks and fire, drop them in your makeshift container. Primitive, but effective, like most post-apocalyptic solutions. Clear doesn't mean clean. Microscopic death comes in crystal clear, refreshing looking packages with fancy marketing. Myth number five, punch a shark in the nose. Sure, if you want to become sushi filling, shark noses are sensitive, but punching underwater? Your fist moves like molasses in January. Meanwhile, Mr. Jaws has 300 razor-sharp teeth, zero patience for your Bruce Lee fantasies, and millions of years of evolutionary murder experience. This isn't Sharknado where chainsaws solve shark problems. This is reality where physics and biology team up to make you lunch. The fix? Go for the gills or eyes instead. More accessible, more vulnerable, better survival odds. Gills are like underwater lungs. Damage them, shark has breathing problems. 
Better yet, don't swim in shark-infested waters during the apocalypse. You've got zombies, radiation, and societal collapse. Leave shark wrestling for the professionals in Florida Man. Myth number five, surviving on rabbit alone. Huh, protein poisoning, nature's cruel practical joke. Rabbits are lean meat, pure protein, almost no fat, like bodybuilder chicken with more ears. Eat nothing but rabbit for weeks? Your body starts cannibalizing itself trying to process all that protein without sufficient fat and carbs. It's metabolic suicide with cute ears. Symptoms include nausea, diarrhea, fatigue, and eventual death. The pioneers called it rabbit starvation. The fix? Eat the whole animal, squeamish Sally. Organ meat contains fats and vitamins muscle meat lacks. Brain, liver, kidneys, heart, everything's food now. Your pre-apocalyptic food preferences died with Instagram food photography. Hunt for fatty fish, nuts, seeds, anything with caloric density. Diversify your death diet or become part of the food chain. The food pyramid wasn't government propaganda, it was evolutionary biology with colorful graphics. Myth number six, rubbing sticks together makes fire. Pure Hollywood magic, like explosions that don't hurt the hero's ears. Two random sticks rubbed together make friction, heat, blisters, and frustrated cursing. Not fire, not even smoke, just pain and wasted calories. You need specific wood types, cedar, willow, basswood, dry tinder bundle, proper technique learned through practice, not YouTube tutorials, and about 4,000 calories worth of energy. Most people quit after 10 minutes with bloody palms and wounded pride, like a CrossFit dropout. The fix? Learn the bow drill method before the collapse, not during your panic-induced wilderness adventure. Create a fireboard with a notch, spinning spindle, bow made from flexible wood and cordage. The physics work. Friction creates char dust, char dust meets tinder bundle, tinder meets oxygen, chemical reaction produces fire. Science beats caveman cosplay every time. No bow, steel wool and batteries work like magic tricks that actually function. Touch steel wool to both battery terminals, instant sparks and oxidation reaction. Steel fibers oxidize rapidly, generate heat, ignite tinder. Basic chemistry beats primitive friction methods and looks way cooler. Myth number seven. Cactus water saves you in the desert. Desert might contain latex and alkaloids that'll make you vomit everything you've ever eaten, including childhood birthday cake memories. Prickly pear might be safe if prepared correctly by someone who isn't desperate and dying, but barrel cactus, that's liquid diarrhea with decorative thorns. You'll dehydrate faster than before you found the spiky death plant. The fish hook barrel cactus looks promising in Mad Max scenarios, but contains oxalic acid. Your kidneys will shut down faster than Windows 95. Darwin Award material right there, folks. The fix? Morning dew collection, like a post-apocalyptic groundskeeper. Tie cloth around your ankles and walk through vegetation at dawn. Ring out collected moisture into containers. Solar stills work too. Dig hole, place container in center, cover with clear plastic, way down center with stone. Condensation drips into container overnight. Free distillation via solar power, like having your own water treatment plant powered by physics. Myth number eight, playing dead works on bears. Tell that to Timothy Treadwell. Oh wait, you can't. Grizzly bears ate him and his girlfriend. Turns out Grizzly Man was more documentary than survival guide. Playing dead works only with defensive mother bears protecting cubs, like an overprotective suburban mom but with claws. If a bear's hunting you for food, playing dead just makes dinner easier to catch. You become a happy meal that doesn't run away or fight back. The fix? Know your bears like your ex-partners. Recognize the dangerous ones immediately. Black bears, fight back. Make noise, look big, channel your inner Rambo. Brown grizzly bears, back away slowly, avoid eye contact like awkward elevator interactions, play dead only if attacked defensively. Polar bears, you're already dead. This encounter is just paperwork. Bear spray beats motivational speeches and prayer. Capsaicin creates temporary blindness and respiratory distress in bears, gives you escape time while the bear reconsiders its dietary choices and life decisions. Myth number nine, cell towers still work during emergencies. Your smartphone is now an expensive, shiny paperweight with nostalgic photo storage. Towers need electricity, maintenance, and functioning infrastructure. When society collapses, so does your TikTok addiction and GPS dependency. Emergency serve to interpret signals. That survival app you downloaded between social media scrolling sessions? Useless digital decoration without data connection. The fix? 
paper maps, magnetic compass, basic navigation skills your grandfather knew instinctively. Learn landmarks, remember directions, use celestial navigation like ancient mariners minus the scurvy. Your brain is the only computer that works without Wi-Fi, charging cables, or software updates. Two-way radios if you can scavenge them from security guards or mall cops. Ham radio if you're incredibly lucky and technically competent. But mostly, plan for complete communication blackout like the Dark Ages with better dental hygiene. Closing threat. Listen up, Wasteland Warrior. Every myth you believe, every Hollywood fantasy you cling to like a security blanket, every Pinterest hack you trust like gospel, they're all loaded guns pointed directly at your skull with malicious intent. Science doesn't care about your feelings, comfort zone, or previous lifestyle choices. Physics doesn't negotiate terms or offer payment plans. Chemistry doesn't take prisoners or accept surrender. You've got exactly two choices in this bombed out hellscape. Either learn real survival science backed by observable facts or become another cautionary tale, another pile of bones clutching a useless survival manual with five-star Amazon reviews. The wasteland doesn't need more heroes, martyrs, or inspirational stories. It needs more people smart enough to outlive their own catastrophic stupidity and bad decision-making patterns. Your move, survivor. Make it count like your life depends on it because in this post-apocalyptic game, there are no respawn points, no continues, no cheat codes, and definitely no customer service hotline. Just you, the merciless wasteland, and whatever actual science you remember when the pretty myths finally kill you. Good luck, you beautiful doomed bastard. You're gonna need every advantage you can get.